Hi. Um, let us continue with our study on Nehemiah. So the last time we discussed building walls and you can click um, on, I think something up here um, that will bring you to that video. But today I wanna focus on Nehemiah chapter six. And this is a very exciting um, chapter for me because in this chapter we see the walls being completed. It took them 52 days for the walls to be completed. But if we um, look at the previous chapters, when Nehemiah first arrived to begin um, rebuilding the wall, um, you know, he had some enemies and they came and they were taunting him and just really mocking him and, you know, making jokes like, oh, look at the materials that they're actually using to rebuild these walls. But as Nehemiah remained focused on completing the burden that the Lord had laid on his heart, the enemy upped his attack, right? So they sent them death threats and um, just different things to really scare them um, from completing the very assignment that the Lord had laid on Nehemiah's heart to do. And then we get to chapter six and something interesting happened. Four times, um, Nehemiah's enemies tried to lure him away from um, completing what he started, right? And they said, hey, come and meet us in a certain village. And Nehemiah said, oh, no, sorry, uh, got something to do, can't come, right? And the scripture says that Nehemiah discerned that they really meant him no good. They wanted to harm him, so he didn't go. The fifth time, they ended up sending um, one of their servants with an open letter. And that was such a, um, a statement of contempt towards Nehemiah, right? Because back in those days, when you sent a letter just open like that, it just showed the contempt that you had for the person. And Nehemiah... Um, in the letter, it was strong accusations against him saying, oh yeah, we know that, you know, you really want to be the king and if you need to come and meet with us because if you don't come and meet with us, we're going to report this to the king. Now, instead of becoming afraid, I love what Nehemiah does in um, chapter six, verse eight. This is he, what he says. He says, my reply was, you know, you are lying there is no truth in any part of your story. Then we go on to verse nine and it says, Nehemiah says, so I prayed for strength to continue the work. I love this because Nehemiah, some of us, when God calls us to do something, right? The enemy and we're rebuilding our walls and we're getting serious about serving the Lord. Sometimes the enemy's watching us and he's like, okay, whatever, they'll come back to me. And then the more you persist in building the, those walls and going forth in your purpose and doing what God has called you to do, you become a real threat to the enemy, right? So he brings um, different accusations against you. And some of us, we become afraid and we pull back right? Because of the accusations of the enemy. But the scripture says that the devil is the father of flies, right? That there, there's no truth in him. So some of us, we buckle to the accusations of the enemy. We buckle because he's attacking us, right? And, and, and we kind of sit down quietly and, and we go into retreat. But I love what Nehemiah does. He calls his enemies a liar liar and he kept it moving, right? He continued to do what the Lord had called him to do. Um, he didn't allow them to um, fill him with fear and fear is such a great way for you to be detoured from doing what God has called you to do. And then Nehemiah not only called them a liar, right? He also then says, I prayed and I asked the Lord to give me what was needed for me to continue on um, completing what he called me to do. This is a great, I think, just outline of how we should respond to the enemy when he's just coming against us and he's um, bringing all these accusations. So this Friday, I just want to encourage you, stay focused on rebuilding your walls. Whoever the enemy is using to try to distract you, don't buckle, don't give in. Don't even entertain the enemy. Call him a liar, rebuke him in the name of Jesus, and keep it moving. You got walls to, to, to build. You have a purpose that you have to fulfill. Your destiny is calling you. You don't have time to be distracted. Later for that, right? There's too much ahead, and there's too much that we have to do to bring God glory. So again, tell that devil he's a liar, and you keep it moving. You be blessed.